In 1918, during the final months of World War I, a deadly new flu virus appeared. Troop movements and overcrowded barracks helped spread the disease, and wartime censorship hid it from the public eye. The Spanish flu infected a third of the world's population, already weakened by four years of war. In a single year, it killed up to 100 million people, more than both world wars combined. War wounds aren't the only threat to people living in conflict. War weakens the national immune system and can lead to catastrophic outbreaks of disease. So, what do people need to stay healthy? Clean water and enough food to eat, a safe place to live with working sanitation, a functioning health system with qualified medical staff and enough medical supplies. But what happens to these when war breaks out? When these systems falter, men, women and children are left exposed to deadly viruses and other diseases. After the 1994 genocide in Rwanda, over a million refugees fled across the border into the Democratic Republic of Congo. The refugee camps there were overcrowded and lacked shelter, clean water or proper sanitation. As a result, waterborne diseases spread swiftly. In the first month, over 40,000 refugees died during epidemics of dysentery and cholera, numbers that were unprecedented in modern history. From 1989 to 2004, civil wars raged across West Africa. By 2013, in Liberia, Guinea and Sierra Leone, many health clinics had been damaged. For every 30,000 people, there was only one doctor. So when Ebola broke out in March 2014, health services were unprepared, understaffed and overwhelmed. Over 28,000 cases were reported and 11,000 people died. The largest and most deadly Ebola outbreak ever recorded. In Yemen, civil war has left the country in ruins. Blockades and fighting have caused soaring food and fuel prices. Many essential items doubled in price in just three years. Now, nearly 18 million Yemenis, over half the population, cannot afford enough food. Rates of malnutrition in Yemen are 50% higher than before the war. And almost half of deaths in children under five are caused by lack of food. Armed conflict causes injury, displacement and death. But it continues to affect people's health even after the front lines have moved or the guns have fallen silent. It devastates essential health services, disrupts medical supplies, forces medical staff to flee and leaves the national immune system broken. When deadly diseases arrive, they're even harder to fight. For people caught up in violence or its aftermath, it is more important than ever to have access to health care, shelter, sanitation and food just to ensure they survive in the wake of war and can look to the future.